This is not the audience I'm used to in the serious building. No. There's not a lot of black death metal t-shirts here tonight, Rich. I know. Everybody's in shape. (laughs) (laughs) What is this? Rich has got an audience that he's worried about having a heart attack all the time. I know. Where he will literally say, please, everyone, take care of yourself. I thought we were doing like a health and fitness show. (laughs) Uh. (laughs) Well, it's great to have you guys here, um, especially since you're starting a new podcast. You've done a couple episodes, right? Oh, we didn't tell you it's canceled? Oh. No. <laughs> yeah. I did not know you could even get a podcast canceled. <laughs> I canceled it. <laughs> well, when the co-host walks out on you. <laughs> uh, it is. Now, what is the name of the podcast? Um, I came up with a name. It's uh-huh. called My Wife Hates Me. Mm-hmm. And uh, <laughs> it was my way of letting him know, mm. you know, my passive aggressive. Uh, yeah. I don't think that's too passive aggressive. <laughs> I think that's straight out aggressive. Well, I sort of sold it like, you know, it might be cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but not during the, in the middle of one of the podcasts. She goes, I really hate you. And if it wasn't for the baby, I'd be gone and walks off the podcast. Yeah. Okay. So now. Now I'm left with a lot of dead air. You know how hard that is to cover. You know, I'm starting to ad lib and scramble. And then she comes back in and sits down and she's staring and happy. It's like doing a podcast with Sybil. Uh, (laughs) What what personality is here tonight? You know, it's 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 weird. And you do it in the living room and I tell, you know, and it's nothing personal, but I I tell, you know, you know, she's kind of stupid. And I'll say. Yeah. That hurts coming from you. <laughs> that really does. <laughs> yes. You know, you know, like here, look at all this technical stuff. We, right. have, we have a table and a microphone, and she bangs the table all the time. And, you know, it's, it's tough, you know, right. when you're trying to launch. Well, if he was closer. <laughs> right. I would bang him, <laughs> and not in the not in the cool sexual oh, way. See, <laughs> see, that's passive aggressive. That one actually was. Uh, but yeah, but you're just starting this. Here's what I think is brilliant about it: is the idea is as old as radio, and yet it hasn't been done for like 40, 50 years. But the husband and wife comedy team was the beginning of radio. And well, got away it, with it. it's the way that also like all sitcoms right. are. I mean, we really do have that sort of like dynamic where you know you've got the dopey husband mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and the trampy wife. I didn't even. <laughs> 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 We're not even doing air quotes anymore. Yeah, no. We're really just... What's an air quote? <laughs> What's an air quote? This is weird. Uh. Suddenly, suddenly, my show, suddenly this show, I was like a marriage counselor. <laughs> Rich, let her finish now. <laughs> it's time for you to listen. <laughs> this is... I'm so glad we got to do this before the divorce. It's really... This is going to be... Today he had me... He said, come here, I need you to sign some papers. And I came out to sign. I go, what am I signing? He goes, they're divorce papers. <laughs> <laughs> they were lawyer stuff for, right. for, for our corporation. Well, go ahead. What were you saying about the sitcoms? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. No, I'm just saying we do. We fit that. We... Well, you know, my uh, my ex-wife, who I made probably made a big mistake with that one, you know, because she's doing well. Uh, <laughs> you know, and, and she's a looker. Uh, <laughs> my ex-wife was listening and calls, and like other people, they, and, and she says, I feel like I'm uh, eavesdropping on a married couple. She said, it's, I don't feel right listening to this podcast. Right. And, and a couple of people have told you that, right? Well, also, because I was like, I was really bad-mouthing her <laughs> a little bit <laughs> during one of them. Tell the, tell the story about when I was ironing, talking to her on the phone. God, you're mm-hmm. so... What? It's a good story. Why don't you just try to start telling the story instead of like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, he has no. He's, yeah. no, he's, he's not slick at all. He's no. like, hey, remember I did that really great funny thing? Yeah. <laughs> Could you maybe? That's not the, the best setup in yeah. broadcasting. Oh, okay. See, now you're not just doing comedy, but you're a broadcaster. <clears throat> That's, so you never want to go tell that great story about me. It just yeah. never oh, comes okay. up. Uh, you're right. You're right. I led into that wrong. Uh, <laughs> Wasn't there a time when I was talking to my ex-wife? <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. This I rem- so- I actually remember this. I was ironing. 
the way that you taught me. And uh, <laughs> remember before we got married, you did all the ironing. Yeah. What happened? You're actually kind of famous for ironing yeah. on television. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, who wants to leave the house wrinkled? You know what I mean? You know, well, you know, yeah. even T-shirts. You got to iron them. You never know what's going to yeah. come up. Uh, I, there was know. a rumor going around for a little while that Rich would buy brand new white t-shirts, wear them once, and then throw them out. <sighs> <laughs> you know, sometimes you just throw something against the wall. If it sticks, it sticks. <laughs> no. So, no, but you were ironing. I, I, I just uh, iron. I, I do most of the housework. I was ironing, <laughs> and um, he was on the phone to yeah. Kelly, his ex-wife, and... Uh, I guess she had hung up. I didn't know that she had hung up already. And then he finished the phone call by going, okay, Kelly, I love you. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> and then show them the scar. It's right here. <laughs> yeah. So you're all kind of friends with the ex. Well, it's all well, still she nice. Moved, here's the deal. My ex, Bonnie, uh, is from Canada. And my ex remarried a Canadian because... Uh, you know, Canadians. They hilarious. both turned each other off of Americans completely. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and Canadians are a lot, lot more low budget. You know, it's easier to satisfy them. You know, they're just happy with a bathroom in the house. Uh, so I did. I settled for a washer and dryer. I know. I you I were like, so excited. You never had a washer I and never dryer. Did. So uh, <laughs> wait a minute. You married up? That's what you're doing. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> This is amazing. I know people are constantly <laughs> like, "Why rich?" I don't want to say the washer dryer. <laughs> my ex-wife, like before I was married, my ex-wife moved to uh, a town in Jersey called Hillsboro. So I wanted to be closer to my daughter. So I moved two miles. You mm -hmm. know, so w w when my older daughters grew up, I could be closer to them because you know I'm I'm really a good dad, and. Uh, then, you know, Bonnie and I uh, started seeing each other and we got a pilot with Comedy Central. So I thought, you know, if we get engaged, that would be another season, uh, <laughs> you know, but the pilot wasn't picked up and, you know, I'm already, you know, bought the ring. The, so. truth, the truth really is, though, that um, he the a week before we were to be married, uh, the pilot, they told us the pilot didn't get picked up. And Rich walked around like it, just s the most depressed that anyone could even, I mean, I'm, I'm amazed you got out of bed. And people would be like, hey, so you're getting married next week. And Rich would be like, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, you have to pretend. People think it's me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, well, now they like, know. <laughs> uh. <laughs> The pilot, it was a great pilot. It was a great. It was way before yeah. time. It was seven years ago, and we were on the road together. And it, it, uh, and you, then I let him do it in my front. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> when just I had just a the once, just the one time. Just the one time. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's yeah. hard because I have to look him in the face. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Keeps you from coming. Uh, <laughs> so. I, I, I've never heard a man want to stop a woman from coming. This is, know, this is the bedroom. This is the first. What? Uh, I know. Oh, he's, he's taken, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> so my, you know, we whatever we Bonnie moves in, we get married, and my ex-wife is married two miles away, and you know we have we have the baby, uh, uh, Raina, and. Uh, you know, sometimes my ex-wife would watch. Well, my ex-wife had a cleaning business, and she did our house, too, mm -hmm. which was kind of uncomfortable, you know, because we would leave stuff around, you know, right. like a picture of my ex-wife next to the bed. Uh, <laughs> we had, and she cleaned, you know, she. I don't know what that meant, but it got a laugh. <laughs> it was a great Barely. Crowd. Huh? <laughs> Barely? But on radio, they could pump it up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's what we do. We sweeten it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and bring that up a little bit. Killing. <laughs> Every time boss talks, hey, bring boss up. <laughs> so, you know, my ex-wife would, would babysit, you know, our mm. daughter. We would go, you know, I'd go to my daughter's basketball games and my ex-wife. And we don't, we don't really have friends outside of the comedy community because we're assholes uh, <laughs> like, I mean, don't yeah. act like it's because we're yeah. too good for people no no it's not that it's not that way it's weird because you work on weekends 
and normal people go out on weekends, so it's hard to make friends, you know, by the community pool, and, you know, what are you doing this weekend, you know, and then they want to come, and it's gross, and it's, you know what I mean? So we don't have friends. It's not because we're mm. assholes, you know, you just don't. Oh, but we're, and we're also assholes. Yeah, we are, no, we're assholes, but right. not, we're not, you know. I don't I mean. think there's a lot of couples listening right now who go, hey, we should go out to dinner with those two. <laughs> 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 really comfortable. <laughs> You've got people listening to your podcast cringing. I mean, you should never get walkouts in a podcast. <laughs> and you're managing to do it. I, seriously, I think the entire idea, and you guys are already onto it, I think it's so brilliant to, to bring that stuff out there. But as far as being two comics married to each other, for uh, now. For now, yeah, sure. <laughs> I mean, we always you know, knew that Rich would get married to a comic, but we thought it was going to be Norton. So, <laughs> well, <laughs> Norton has nicer breasts. <laughs> <laughs> Just let my laugh settle before you top it. Just let it lay there for a second. Oh, well, I'm sorry, no, you're right. No, I'm kidding. It was you know, perfect. Because I, I, I didn't expect it out of you. Uh, <laughs> so, but the fact is, it, was that ever been a problem? Or has it always been fun being on the road together? Or never. sometimes it's never, never fun. Never fun. No, people, it's tr people ask that question all the time. They're like, oh, must be like a barrel of laughs. <laughs> yeah. You know, no, it's, you know, he's a jerk. Uh huh. Obviously. He, 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 he cannot control his emotions, um, so he gets mad really, really So he's easily. quick anger. It's all about anger. Oh, it's like he, he overreacts to everything. Bullshit! <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, like people so sometimes they'll... <laughs> like, he, like he... Okay, we made a movie where... Mm -hmm. You know, I put a lot of him being an asshole in the movie, you know, where it's just like a, a documentary. And watching it, I was like, oh, this is kind of funny. He is, like, he does have a little bit of charm. He's funny. But in real life, it's so annoying. Sure. You know, you can't, no, you can't appreciate that mm -hmm. when you're, you know. First when it's your life. Yes. When it's not just entertainment, it's yes. life. Yes. Bullshit, because she's so Canadian, you know, like... Uh, let me give you, no, you know, because I'll speak out if, if like, say, uh, you know, a waiter is, you know, my eggs are not what done. What are you talking about? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I say, you know, something, and I'll send send it back or do this or right. do that. You know, I want things the way I want them, that's all. She'll go, oh, how could you do that? Why? Because that's what I'm paying for. And she, so, she thinks that's aggressiveness or anger when I just want what I want. You know what I mean, or what? Mm -hmm. I, so, and I don't know how much we're supposed to get into this. Get into all of but it. But uh, he bullies people. I don't. He <laughs> bullies people. How, look at me. I could bully him, really. No, but yeah, <laughs> like if it, yeah, you pick on people who are younger. No everyone, way. Then bullshit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> how does your mom pick you? Oh, it's so, <laughs> there we go. It's so mean. See? I don't it's bully so mean people. And no, American. You, no, it's so, it's so American. <laughs> you know, uh, you're as much of an asshole as the next person. Like, how about? I I do it in a passive aggressive way though. So people don't know that I'm doing it till later. Yeah. Least and least and I then know. they're like, Whoa, what a Yeah, but at least see, when we were on the road together, in the you know, when we first started Dan, we were on the road together, you know, I had a lot of heat. Uh I was, you know, Sorry. Why, Sorry. Was Sorry. Gonna, why was I going to laugh in your own life? Seriously. Uh, but a lot of heat. I mean. Uh, you know what I'm saying. I was yeah, thinking, I, I really was, had some buzz. <laughs> day. So, so the buzz came from the well, TV show. Well, you the buzz came from all of it together. Last yeah. comic, tough crowd, uh, O&A. Uh, you know, I do special. remember first dating him and thinking, no one can ever find out about this. And um, <laughs> <laughs> I, we were, I was Wait, just, what? <laughs> yeah, no, I was like, this is going to the grave with you. <laughs> and uh, we were in your car. He was at a rental and we were driving uh, in LA. And I was like, look, you have to keep this a secret. You know, you can't tell anybody. And somebody drove up and was like, boss, <laughs> I got your CD. And I was like, oh no. And that, He's well, got buzz. <laughs> now, th this seriously might be the 
worst question ever, but why did you want to keep dating Rich Voss a secret? Why did you not Oh, I think, I don't, yeah, I think that goes without saying, doesn't yeah. it? I mean, <laughs> as a lady, <laughs> I, you know, I knew that if people found out that I would have to marry him. Right. That there would be no others. <laughs> no more takers after that. So nobody would want to be, hey, I'm right behind Voss. Well, yeah. here, first of all, don't act like she was some, you know, some angel. She got to the V's and it was my turn. Uh, okay, here's the deal. I was, that was I wanna, the second time around. Yeah. <laughs> I was working one night at the cellar and right after last comic and she came down and goes, oh, you're from last comic. And I'm thinking, oh, you're, you're that uh, comic. He said, uh, yeah, you're that comic girl. And, and I was on a d date with a hot girl and I said He's to her, I go, look, you know, I'm on a date. He go, no, say? you said, oh, God. Maybe you should just say, hey, tell that story. Um, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, <laughs> your first instinct was correct. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I said, you said, oh, you're that comic girl. I'd hit on you right now, but I'm on a date. Yeah. <laughs> but and what you happened? scampered up onto the stage and started bombing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, that's what I'm going to get into in a second. Okay, so then the next night, she was at the cellar, and we went out. Had pizza. I took her out for pizza. Mm -hmm. And you yeah, know. And I remember. I remember thinking like, this guy is chatty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, he really. I said. I, I said. Um, what are some of the things that we didn't see on the show? And he talked. Uh, I was talking about the last coming standing. The heat that he had from that was still <laughs> happening. And uh, we were. It was in the middle of it. Yeah, you had to go do your finals. Yeah. Right, and he, he talked for like two hours. Like he literally, he took it seriously, the question. And he told me everything that happened that we didn't see on the show. Well, and then, and then 10 minutes later in the car, yeah, Whatever. in the car. What? I don't want to say it's too dirty, but you know, we're, we're fooling around. I'm uh -huh. going, you know, uh, a little going. <laughs> uh, this is 10 minutes after pizza. <laughs> after pizza. Well, she, I she want did. anything to get him <laughs> to stop talking. <laughs> What? Yeah. what do you mean 10 minutes after a pizza? She didn't eat the pizza with her pussy. I didn't care. <laughs> okay. And you were worried about being too dirty. I'm no. <laughs> oh, sorry. You're really Wait. fine with that. It's good. I'm sorry. That's a, oh, you can beep that out. on. <laughs> yeah. yeah so we're, it again. Yeah, we're, we're bringing up how your big laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> we, uh, we, uh, so we started dating, you know, when I was in yeah. L.A. or she was in New York and you know, for, I, she was perfect. I remember being in L.A. This was the best. I'm in L.A. taping, you know, something, uh, I don't know, it was, uh, you know, it was the last comic or something, we, a nice hotel. And she came over in the day, I think the first time we, we had sex, she came over in the day, came to my hotel, we had sex, and I didn't have to, she left without me even like saying, hey, I got to do this or do that or, oh, or yawn or look at my watch. She goes, I I'm out of here. I'm going... How can you meet a better girl than this that comes Don't to you? Don't act like girls weren't <laughs> running away from you. After sex. I mean, come on. You know, was she crying? Or no. like, <laughs> how did she? Not in front of him. Yeah. No. She knew, look, we knew we were going to fool around. I'm mm -hmm. in the hotel, even, you know, you know, we, were, we went up to the pool for a second and she left something and on a table, and I go, let me get that. She goes, oh, this guy's a gentleman. So, <laughs> right? Because see, that's what you oh told God. me. I, I don't know what other guys would, I don't know what. In the light what... of day, that seems so like I had such low self esteem <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what other guys were doing to you. <laughs> I'm a half of iced tea, Aww. <laughs> No, I don't think that's low self-esteem. I have no self-esteem. Yeah. Does someone well, got half the iced tea for me? I had, you know, it was either, you know, stay with Rich or yeah. start cutting myself uh, you know, that's... so we you know we dated and then we, we we started doing road gigs together right and she was and she's a brilliant comic and mm -hmm. even was oh, back. no now no, I know no, no, no. I know the build up now she's a great a brilliant writer everything but she was doing LA gigs like uh, M bar and oh these God. are real <laughs> alternative where you could put your notes on a stool and they're so LA and you're not you, doing you're not gonna say Pittsburgh no you? no oh, it's okay. Cincinnati uh, I'll do Pittsburgh now I'm gonna do Pittsburgh <laughs> I'm gonna tell them so uh, so 
you know, these are LA audiences are real nice. New York audience, if you're not funny, they'll let you know. LA is like, you know. Mm -hmm. So we're on the road and now we're doing big gigs. And, and, and my fan base was kind of, you know, you, some of the people are from radio and whatever. So we're doing a gig in Pittsburgh at, at a club and it, it's crowded. Uh, you know, not bad numbers, I think hit bonus. And, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, back when I, I had so heat then. So 13 DVDs. You know, I saw some. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, Bonnie was having a bad set. Mm -hmm. And and she wa just walks off. The MC doesn't know. And goes, and no one's on stage. And she walks into the back of the room and goes, Hi, you miss me now, don't you? Right? <laughs> <laughs> and no one, and they go, No. Uh, so, but she was kind of having a tough time because she wasn't used to doing these animal. Sure. But then we worked in Cincinnati and something clicked with her. And she had a great set. And it was like, oh So at the God. end of her set, instead of good night, she acts like she was like, like running for office. And she says, <laughs> Thank you, Cincinnati. Okay, there's, all right. There's a hundred people there, and it's really outside in Kentucky. And <laughs> thank you, Cincinnati. She's in the back, you know. I was and like, I'm doing my special here. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, that's the weird thing about both comics being together because you need two good sets before you go home and feel good about yourself at night as one of you does really well. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, for me, I needed to do really well and for him to not do well. Right. In order to really get that good feeling. Well, she's, you know. That happens a lot then. You get a lot well, of good feeling. <laughs> you know, the truth is, I've never seen him bomb. Yeah. I've never seen him eat. I, I'm sure it's happened. I've never been there to experience it. And um, I, one time I remember, <laughs> people are like, it's Pete he's Eric, racking I've his seen brain. Twice. <laughs> but um, he he always pulls it out. One time we were at this gig and it was like a LA gig, and he went up alternative, mm -hmm. and he started bombing. And I was texting my friends. I was like, oh, he's bombing. And <laughs> before I hit send, he turned it around. Right. <laughs> it was so uh, annoying. Because you. <laughs> <laughs> See, here's the thing about Rich is like there's a thing about him that's kind of old school. I'm going to entertain these people right. you know yeah. like the the thing about rich is you know i want to talk about that you're somewhat fearless but there's also thing of, of and not all the comics have this you want the people to laugh yeah you want to yeah. yeah you don't want yeah you, i've seen comics oh but you did try to one time he did try to tell me that you aren't a good comic unless you're no. walking people no that's not true I didn't in say, the audience no. yes no 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 <laughs> this is what i'm saying you're not a good comic if Everybody loves you mm -hmm. because then you're just pandering. Do you, do you right. see what I'm saying? Yes. I'm not saying. Look, but most people love Pryor. He was great. Right. But there were some people that didn't get him and didn't like him. So that's what made him great. You know, besides sure. him being great. Uh, I'm not saying people have to run out and run out of the room like you know someone yelled fire. What I'm saying is, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna uh, reach everybody. Everybody's not gonna like me, and that's what I like. You know. Yeah. But the ones that do like me, I want them. You know, I, my comedy, I want people, when they leave, there's different types of comedy that, you know, there's comedy from the head that you love, there's great comics, you know, you look at Brian Regan, you go, you can't get funnier than Brian Regan, right? But then you looked at somebody like Patrice, who's everything is from the heart, mm -hmm. and you go, this is brilliant. You walk out of the room and you knew Patrice. You knew, yeah. oh, you knew that person. You know what they thought, you knew how they act, you know? So there's two types, of, and that's the kind of comedy I like. The comedy that comes more from here. She does stuff from her head because she doesn't have a heart. So, <laughs> wait, what's going on? It's so nice. There were a couple of moments. I'm like, I even we, had it. I had a tear in my yeah. eye. <laughs> and, and we're not having sex. Yeah. Uh, I, <laughs> do, do you know how close I was to having a promo? Then it was, <laughs> it was so close. We'll, we'll pull this. Uh, but yeah, that's the great thing too. It was like people think, oh, you you're both comedians. You have so much in common. But you could have nothing thing in common other than the fact that you both go up on stage and do comedy well here's we the thing is we uh uh compliment each other like mm -hmm. when we work together never but, verbally no, no i haven't no, heard it right i haven't heard it yet <laughs> i, I I'm I'm waiting. waiting she's brilliant no she's brilliant really and you know for for her age look how good she looks <laughs> uh, that's so nice thank you, thank you. it's really uh, nice she got her hair cut for this i told her it was radio <laughs> stupid uh <laughs> So it looks good. So, but here's the thing: she got, 
like her material, she she's a brilliant writer. I'm telling mm -hmm. you. I know. <laughs> you know what? I can't help it. I know it's something. <laughs> no, I'm not being. No, I, I'm not being mean. When you were in Clockwork Orange, <laughs> anyhow. So, so this is radio too. Oh, so I know. I know. They're not gonna get it. Well, that, that, she has the hat. Yeah, it's a, she was doing her. You material. bleep that out, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna fix all this. She has. And actually, I have two other guests in here. By the time I'm done editing, she, she, she her material was is great. But then she started getting good and good, and now like, and I like to do crowd work too. Good mix and it up. Then uh, next thing you know, you know, she was reading her notes from a stool at M Bar. Next thing <laughs> you know, she's on stage at Caroline's with her foot on the front table. You know, like leaning in, like she made yeah. this transformation, and and I'm going. I don't want to work with her because it's too hard to follow her now. Right. You know, because she's basically doing me. Uh, <laughs> but you know what I mean. It, but that is but your compliment. It, she left her world. She came into mine. Yes. Well, he did. You know, when I started working with him, I didn't do crowd work, and I yeah. was like, I shouldn't have to. This is the kind of comedian I am, or I just tell my joke. <coughs> and he was like, No, you know, you you know, if you want to be a great comic, there's nothing wrong with learning new skills. And so I did. I learned how to do crowd work, and then once I actually got good at it, right. he was like, Don't do any more fucking crowd work. <laughs> <laughs> Enough already. Well, she's quick. You see how quick yeah. she is. She's quick. Uh, you know, and it was tough for us to go on the road too. Well, before the baby, because I love to play. I go on the road to go play golf. I play golf all over, and she has no hobbies, and so <laughs> it was kind of tough. I'd feel bad, you know, going to play golf and just leaving her behind. Not only that, who who knows who's coming over in the day? You know, it's a hotel. <laughs> She's meeting hot dudes at the club. You know what I'm saying? I'm oh, not yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your audience really has a lot of hot dudes. In it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, but it, it was tough. There was great times. We had so, great times. So you're saying it was tough to leave your wife at home with the baby while you golfed every day. <laughs> yes. <That was laughs> yes, I don't exactly, know how you got through that, Rich. Exactly. It's very difficult. Try That's going to be our next. It's <laughs> big of you that you were able to work through yes. that. What, an, what an amazing man and father. <laughs> That's going to be our next podcast about her because I'm older. I have two older daughters, you know, 21 and 19. Okay, and now we have a four-year-old. Okay. Uh, my job is to to take care of the bills like the man does, and uh, you know I hug the baby, kiss her when we're in public. I'll carry her so people think I'm good. Uh, <laughs> but she's supposed to take care of the baby. It's her mm. first baby. It's my third. You know, right. I got two already. What mm -hmm. the fuck? Right. Uh, <laughs> Can't fight that logic. <laughs> sure. <laughs> You know, you could we could actually take this podcast to court and you'd lose that kid. <laughs> no <laughs> rights at all. Um, you know, Rich has Rich has come very, very far in his in his life. Uh, Rich is the first person, this is a true story, that I ever heard use the word crack. I didn't know what crack was until you were explaining why you had to leave this place real fast and get somewhere else. I mean, before... <laughs> well, like he was openly... Yeah, before when other people were like, yeah, well, it's bass, and like white people are like, who's got time for that? Let's just snort it. Right. Rich <laughs> knew somebody who was making crack and was leaving to go. And this was well before New Jack City. Okay. Nobody, kn <laughs> nobody knew about it. And then, I'm talking a long time ago, people were like, well, he is not going to live and as a matter of fact two people that he was hanging out with at the time who told me like i'm worried that rich will die are dead they died oh the people God. who were concerned about him was one frankie yes frankie yeah. uh frankie bastille yeah. and bobby woods both said to me i'm really yeah. worried about rich and but i'm leaving with him and uh. the, three of us, <laughs> <laughs> the fr three of us are going to lock ourselves into a hotel room but it's really that the the way that he's rebounded is phenomenal to anybody who saw well, him at the time. One of the things about Rich that you, this is what, what his comedy is about, everything's about, is that he will not lose a fight. Mm -hmm. I mean, he will fight to the death. So even against drugs, he wasn't <laughs> going to lose. He was like, fuck it. Um, um, you know, I mean, that's I like he, he quit smoking. It's he, the gum. Um, I can't get off the gum. <laughs> the gum, he'll, the gum will beat him. That's you it. Know, and the, the second marriage, I can't get out of that. Uh, <laughs> too much invested. But what we were doing what drugs. What is invested? Oh, really? <laughs> show, really? Show him the ring. 
This oh, this secondhand ring that you got me. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah, but yeah. I got a good deal at it. I got yeah. if I wasn't in recovery, I wouldn't have met the guy at the twelve step meeting <laughs> who just got his who, fiance relapsed. No, right? his, <laughs> this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Is that true? <laughs> yeah. That is true. Oh. And Rich said, you know, this is the thing. I know this about Rich because I know who he is. I'm sure Rich bypassed the oh God, I'm sorry, right. and went right to the what are you gonna do with the ring? <laughs> <laughs> you must be happy. With that old dope ring, that's got a. <laughs> that's got to really. If that's not good luck, I don't know what yes, is. It really is. Well, so recovery is still a big part of your life. Well, you I still... mean, I, I'm not gonna lie. I, I don't go to meetings like mm -hmm. I should, like never. But no, it, it. I mean, the main thing in my life, I can't. Pick, if I pick up, everything, I'm dead, and everything's right. gone. Everything's gone. Uh, you know, because I'm not a, 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 you know, one's enough type of person. Right. You know, and, and there's a saying, you know, uh, one's, too, one's too many and thousands not enough. I'm, you know, these are sayings. And that's true with me. I can't stop. I can't stop. It's even when I'm shooting craps, you know, or, or anything. Even when we go out to eat, you know, it just, I, I don't want to, I can't stop. Uh, so recovery, everything I have in my life is because what the fuck are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> See, you don't get it. Sorry, I thought of a joke how I threw that, and I was like, what? no, it's too serious. Well, because, oh, really? Let's, oh, he's talking about you you getting sober, not doing crack. Let's let's do some flips and run around the room with sparklers in my ass as I tell the story. No, I, okay. no that's why I didn't say it. Mm. Well, I, guess, I thought this is inappropriate. <laughs> well, laughing in my face. <laughs> you know, that's the second promo ruin tonight. We, <laughs> we had two beautiful promos. <coughs> Sometimes we'll be having like a full blown knockdown drag out fight, and somebody will say a joke, and the other person will be like, Don't you make me laugh. <laughs> but it'll be real. It'll be like, yeah. This is serious. As we're uh, laughing. And then we'll go, sometimes we'll take breaks and then come back and re, re fight. We'll, we have to like go to each corner, have everybody. A giggle, and then come <laughs> get back some in. water. <laughs> yes. Talk to your corner man and come <laughs> yes. back out swinging. Yes. Uh, yeah, recovery, like, and most of the comics I hang with, mm -hmm. you know, don't party. They don't. They don't drink. They don't get high. Uh, and but I they guess, recovered, or they people that well, never I tried. Well, I'm not going to break any anonymity. Right. Anybody's anonymity. Uh, although everybody knows, and they, you know. But most of the comics, you know, Bonnie. Bonnie uh, drinks. She's not a full blown alcoholic. She has a glass of I'm wine. I'm a little bit drunk right now, but not bad. <laughs> that's, not bad. That's good. You know, and because. You know, she can handle it. You know, you, right. there's a fine line between social and addiction. And once you cross that line, you can't turn back. You can't be an addict and then go back to social use. It just doesn't happen, at least not for me and pretty much everybody I know in recovery. So the comics I hang with, you know, and the dudes I used to run with when, when I was getting high. I mean, I was only doing comedy for like three years high. I got mm -hmm. 25 years clean, and I've been doing comedy like 28 years, so I would say that's three years. Uh, you know, get out your iPhones. Uh, <laughs> so Nobody's arguing with you, Rich. Uh, yeah. yeah. But you right, nailed right. that one. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> was no, well, I've been homeschooling him and Raina together, yeah. and it's, it's really, really working out. I'm going to tell the truth. Uh, I, I think I was, I don't know if I was hot, getting high or, or if I was sober, but when I worked uh, uh, your club in Tampa, yeah. uh, I was eating it all week. I was having a tough time. I don't yeah. know who I was following. I'm going, man, they hate me in Tampa. Uh, I don't know where that came from. Well, that was from before when she said I, I don't bomb, but that was a long but time ago. But it's really funny oh. that you bring that up to me every time I talk to you. You're yeah, because like, I mean, you know, it's been a long time. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, well, Jesus they, Christ, well, they won't happen. <laughs> they never had me back. I wanted to try to get back in, even though yeah. it's not there. Uh, <laughs> It's all ego. Yeah. Before we came in here, he said, look, I don't care what you say. Tell him I've never bombed. <laughs> yeah, the recovery thing, though, because the comics back no, then, I was bouncing angry. all over the place. It's fucking, this is how genius people <laughs> act. <laughs> Dude, this is you, you never saw any of those Einstein tapes? <laughs> just go from one mathematical yeah, okay. equation no, to another. I'm going back to the recovery thing. Then yeah. he'll lead into something. I'm sorry if I'm talking too much. I, you know, I've never done a real interview. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, He's officially unmasked. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
so funny. All right, so finally we got the fucking promo. So, <laughs> Uh, well, let me just ask you one thing, though, about the addictive personality. Do you think that's what kept you going as a comic, though? Have you been addictive about doing well on stage? I mean, I just brought up you're a little bit obsessive about, you know, bombing two decades ago. Uh, and no. still. <laughs> I, comedy, uh, I, I love doing comedy. Like, and, and, you know, for me, too, like when people go, well, you, you know, like the old joke, you can't act. I go, I'm a comic. Mm -hmm. You know, like there's comics go, I want to do comedy, I want to get a sitcom, I, I don't give a shit. You know, I mean, I love to have something, a, a, a show, but comedy is what I do. Everything mm -hmm. else, when I get TV or get something, that's a bonus, because I'm a comic. You know, on our, honey, on our honeymoon, uh, you know, I wanted to, on my first honeymoon, I did comedy. Enough uh, and, about her already. Uh, <laughs> I'm saying, you know. I love doing comedy. Right. Okay, I don't know if it's addictive. I don't know. I know why I started. I know growing up uh, from the dysfunctional broken home I had, and, and I figured this out after years, I would come home from school. I was in fourth grade or third grade, whatever that is, eight or nine, and I'd come home from school every day. What the <laughs> fuck is funny? This is a good story. Okay, I'm sorry. Now, maybe when I'm done, you can tell some of your stories when you were on the farm in Canada, milking cows and making ice cream, okay? And churning butter. But I'm talking from the gut, baby. Uh, okay, so, so what I'm saying is... Uh, <laughs> How I old were you in third grade? <laughs> How old is third grade? Eight or... 14 or 15. Yeah. <laughs> I don't the know. Joke it's, was it's, going. Okay. okay, go ahead. It's different in this country. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'd come home from school mm -hmm. and every day sit by the uh, Victrola, you know, and that's, it, it was called a Victrola, right? <laughs> you know, listen to album. <laughs> and I would listen what to... What is it? It's a, huh? <laughs> What, what you it? what you play albums on? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> and I would. <laughs> He's like, this was like in 1908. <laughs> when Shasta <Shutter> Cathedral. <laughs> <laughs> yowza yowza! It's like an old Woody Allen. We're gonna Allen beat back movie. the Kaiser, Ma. <laughs> <laughs> I oh my God. So you're home, you're in a dysfunctional family. Yeah, my Zoffer. parents are divorced. I'm mm -hmm. th third grade, second, fourth. And I'd listen to Von Meter album every mm -hmm. day. Von Meter was the hottest comic at that time. He did Kennedy impressions. He did uh, The album was called The First Family. And he did Bobby and, Te and, and, and Jack oh Kennedy. Oh boy, his, uh, his career really sucked. Well, it, listen to me, <laughs> what happened, the guy had the biggest, he was- Well, I still got Bobby. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 that's, what, that's what happened. And nobody would hire him because they didn't want to be reminded. Uh, uh, the ending was so yeah. depressing. <laughs> Yeah. So it went from, what you know, he went that? he went from Park Avenue to Park Bench, you know, oh, it's a, and it's true. And I and as a kid, I would listen to, to the comedy, and I grew up loving comedy. Mm -hmm. Like, comics now, you could ask comics, they don't know the hit, like Bonnie, and that's why I can, she loved comedy. Mm. She studied comedy. She knew history of comedy. You know what I mean? You ask a comic now, who's Steve Landisberg? Who's, who's Bob Steve New Landisberg? Who's Bob Newhart? <laughs> uh... You know what I mean? Right. So I grew into it. I always loved comedy. I, I watched it on Ed, Sel Ed Sullivan, Alan King. Then you grow up, you love Pryor, Murphy, you know? And, and I always knew I wanted to be a comic. I always knew it. And, and the first time I got on stage, it was so horrible. I bombed so bad. It was a catch rising star. I, st I had props and I stunk. <laughs> oh. And then I the Didn't second... you go on with a ghetto blaster no, and no, no. do well, a strip tease act? That was, that was when I started working, uh, <laughs> getting paid. And I, it, I was just so fucking bad. I, I used to. <laughs> How I used did that to, not work? I, 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 <laughs> I used to have my show and play. Uh, did you have like a bow tie? Yes, I used to play that song, so, excuse me, So Many Men, and <laughs> I'd come dancing out as a male go-go dancer, and, oh my God. but I was ripped, so I was getting pussy after the shows. Uh, <laughs> no, not really. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Those I, tall ladies, were, <laughs> they didn't have pussies. <laughs> okay. I had rotten teeth and horrible hair. So, but I always loved comedy, and then you get it, you get into the business, and it's like, you start I remember growing. one time this girl, 
you know, I saw her do a setup and I, you know, was talking to her after and I said, oh, that bit sounds like a Patton Oswalt bit. She goes, who's that? Mm, that quickly. <laughs> yeah, see, and like, and you, yeah, and they don't know. And, and you get into this business, you get to a level, you keep going and you, you, you want to keep growing and growing and growing. You know, sometimes you don't find your voice. All these comics think, oh, I, I can head on, I can do this. You don't, I, I, I don't even barely know my voice and I've been doing it for 28 years. You know what I mean? Sure. You know, sometimes I'll do crowd work. Sometimes I'll sit on a stool and tell stories. What do I, you know what I mean? So right. you're always growing and you got to set goals. You know, every year I go, is something positive happening? You know, for the last three years, it's been tougher in clubs, but positive things have been happening with us. The movie. Can we? Can you get me this portion of the tape, uh, so that I could play it back to him? Yeah. At some point, there, there, this isn't a person. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is a person that does not show up outside. What? No, of. of course, at home I'm going to go. It sucks that I'm. Yeah. I'm not working some of these clubs, this and that. But deep down in my mind, oh, I know. Oh, I didn't are... know I wasn't getting the deep down part. <laughs> oh, okay. No, well, I'm I sorry. I'm getting the surface stuff. Well, so no. you're saying he's a little less. Happy with his career now. He's admitting well, he's that just to be like part of this. He's like well, this, you know, really centered. Mm. You know, oh, I just I take everything as it comes. <laughs> no, I, I, and no, I, I, I realize there's ups and downs in this business. <laughs> <laughs> Like at home, he's like, "What the fuck? That is bullshit." <laughs> I remember one time you were talking to Amy Schumer, and she said that she got this. Uh, who was her manager? She said she just got signed oh, by some management yeah. levity, and he goes, "Oh, they'll just take anybody!" <laughs> <laughs> right, right to her face. He can't yeah. control his <laughs> emotions. Did I, did I say something to Brewer when he said he got his deal or something <laughs> at his house? And he, and he goes, "I did this, this, and this." His, I don't. Anyhow, yeah. <laughs> Do you, I just wanted to mention that we were at Brewer's house. Uh, so, l listen, you know how frustrating radios is. Frustrating. Everything, everything, everything is. You gotta and, keep going. Uh, you know, I've worked clubs. I was doing. You know, I do remember that Brewer story. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. He was like, do it. I don't know how much time we have. You got all the time in the world. Um, he he was on uh, O and A. He went on O and A with the uh, with Jim, and I kept asking him what happened on O and A. Didn't anything you know? And he was like, No, no. Brewer just told some stories about his family, and I was like, Oh, okay. And we've been editing this movie at Brewer's parents mm -hmm. basement that's uh, where his editing. his editing suite is where his editor is so i kept asking him you know it, it, you know i don't know why i kept saying like he kept saying no nothing he just was talking about his parents and telling stories and then i you know later called the editor to find out when i could come by and he goes oh man yeah uh I guess you know about what happened with Brewer because Rich was on the show. And I was like, no, what happened? He goes, well, uh, his mom was hitting his father. who is <laughs> They're both very old, so they had to take him out of the house and they had to put her in a home and then sell the house so the editing suite was possibly not going to be there much longer. <laughs> and this apparently didn't even affect Rich even slightly, <laughs> didn't even register with him. And in fact, uh, when he was telling me, oh no, nothing happened, I did ask him if he looked at the movie and he said he didn't. So this is what I imagine happened. Brewer goes through this huge emotional thing on ONA and right after Rich goes, did you see our movie? <laughs> Did you, did you take a look at it yet? <laughs> I gave him some good advice. I know advice. I know people. Uh, <laughs> well, let, let's get over to you getting the stand up. Um, Thirty years after, I guess, uh, Rich was listening to Von Meter in his <laughs> parents' basement. You were born. And <laughs> but what takes this nice girl in Canada to the stage? Why would you? Uh... Um, I, you know, I've always wanted to be a writer. Always been mm -hmm. very creative, and uh, I always laughed at things that the rest of my family would sort of get angry, like not understand. Like I like watching things on TV that seemed bad, <laughs> like were funny because it was bad, right. and they couldn't understand why that was funny to me. So there was a lot of like sort of disconnect there still is a huge disconnect with my family like my sister was like why don't you talk about things people want to hear <laughs> why, has that ever crossed your mind <laughs> well, see what a phony she is there's some disconnect come here in the car my family doesn't understand they hate me I wrote I wrote a book when I was 10 and they weren't even behind me you fucking phony what the heck <laughs> I'm never talking to you again <laughs> 
<laughs> There's a little bit of a disconnect. <laughs> no, tell them about the book you wrote when you were 10. <laughs> <laughs> called Chicken Island. Chicken. <laughs> Jeez. I wonder why your folks weren't impressed. <laughs> so what did they say? This is stupid. This isn't a book. What did they say? That the <laughs> they, I there. don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> tell, tell them when tell you em. did. Uh, tell them. <laughs> when, when you did a TV spot and you called them, did you watch me? And what did they say? Oh, and I did Letterman. They said it was too late. No. <laughs> oh my God! Not Seriously. that one. Not, oh, not that, that one. one. The other one. Did you? Uh, uh, I. Uh, they can't talk now because it, what season was it? Oh, I had done a TV show and I sent them home the tapes and then for them to look at. And I called. And I said, "Did you?" Yeah, you know, I grew up on a farm. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, did you, did you watch? Did you watch? And my mom goes, Bonnie, it's the middle of harvest. <laughs> <laughs> True. It is. It's very it's busy, very busy time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you guys are doing this movie. You've been shooting it for, you started shooting it years ago, right? It yes, was, yes. Almost before before I was born. Before you were born. <laughs> what, what's the film about? So it's called Women Aren't Funny, mm -hmm. and um, I actually go on a quest to finally put this debate to bed if women are funny or not. And um, we interviewed, you can say the names. I mean, besides, well, I mean, it's also us on the road as a couple. It's, it's a documentary, comedy documentary. I guess it's a documentary. Inter sure. <laughs> intertwined with almost reality of our lives in the movie, and, and and we have everybody in the movie. I mean, every comic, you know, uh, you know, Chris Rock, Dane Cook, Sarah uh, Silverman, Wanda, Joan Rivers, you know, uh, Joy Behar, Artie Lang, Susie Essman, Colin Quinn, Brewer, Norton, Patrice, Bobby, Rosie O'Donnell, uh, Tom Arnold, uh, 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 Rita Rudner. Uh, Patrice. You know, yeah, I said Patrice. Oh. A everybody, but it, it it just it 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 came together. She took, she, like, to make a movie, you know, a regular movie. Hey, you, you know, a couple scenes. Uh, we'll use that scene as edit the movie. We had sixty hours uh, of tape that she took sixty hours and turned it into. A, it's unfucking believable. Turned it into how, magic. <laughs> turned it, you know, uh, and 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 a, a lot of help from me. But you know, she, her, I mean, no, but her vision. But it, I would go to edit like every mm -hmm. two days a week. I went to the editing. I would, and then I would like transcribe all the footage at home and stuff. And then he'd be like, "You know what you got to do? You got to put me right there." <laughs> and, then, and then later he'd be like, "I've done it. I've done just as much as you have." Oh, shit. <laughs> First of no, all, no, you did get all the interviews. I got, I got the, the most money. of the people because. They know you me. Sold a lot of DVDs for this movie. No, we uh, appreciate that. you know, finance it and some of the editing. Some I did. She called me today for I just, but her the the brainchild is her. Right, it's her. You know, I, you know, it's unless it's bad. Unless no, <laughs> no, <laughs> unless I you don't it's like not, it. It's not. It's funny. It's funny and yeah. it's informative. Everybody's good in it because the comics were just you know. It's not one of these empowered, all right, already type. You know what I mean. It just it flows and and no, we actually conclude that women aren't funny. <laughs> really? um, After all oh, that, so yes. disappointing. It's embarrassing to admit. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's it, I, I, it's so impressive. If this movie, you know, hits, it it probably will keep us together another five years. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Because we're going to be stuck. Oh, we're going to get a show, and now you know what I mean. So so we wanted to hit for the money. Uh, you know, and then maybe she can live back in L.A. and I can play golf in Florida. And you know what I mean? Good things. Good things can come out of it. You know? uh, but at, over like four years, do you start and go, do we even have anything? We've, we've shot all this stuff, but the editing of four years is just get you insane, right? Well, because we shot, I mean, we started editing while, and then we yeah. were still shooting. So it was like, yeah. But it, it was, I do remember like driving to the editing some days being like you can do this come on <laughs> you can make it you yeah know? it's it a tough like thing to pull off documentary film yeah I, I, there's know, a lot of footage to go through and it's yeah. like with these comics they go they were so funny a lot of them and you know so doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work yeah, in the context right. of the movie a lot of great stuff gets left out yeah we had a cut i mean we we even you know we margaret show 
didn't even make the movie. And she's, right. a, you know, I mean, I we don't We haven't told her that yet. No. Uh, she doesn't, <laughs> she's driving along right now. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> but I'm funny. I'm no. proving that women are funny. But it really wasn't Margaret's fault. What happened was yeah. Rich was in Atlanta. I was um, in Atlanta. Uh, doing a, doing stand-up, and she works there doing her show. And... Uh, so, she came in to do guest spots in front of me. So and we, I said you know, yes. I emailed her and asked her if she would do the movie. And Rich is a terrible eye for anything to do with the camera. Like he loves like having this much headroom. You know what I mean? Like he thinks it's okay to cut the chin off. Um, so I drew him a picture of where to put her in the frame, um, so that he could he could do it. Well, you know, and. Uh, he he did put her exactly right in the frame, um, so dark <laughs> that you couldn't. You forgot to put you, you, light. Yeah, I did, forgot to like. No wife should say her husband has a terrible eye, okay? Because <laughs> that doesn't say a lot for her. If I can't see what I married, uh, I'm not a I'm not a film film. Uh, I, I'm not a, a cameraman, okay? I'm not like him. Look how good he is. <laughs> he doesn't uh, even need to get behind it. He just knows it just didn't it's come right. out. The, right. What I'm saying, and that's all, uh, big deal. Red. She had to send you a square with a woman's head in the middle of it and say, do this. That was. But this is rich when you try to tell him how to do something. Right. He'd be like, I go. I know. <laughs> hey, hey, look at. I, my job is not to go out and film. Yeah, I filmed some of it, right? You know, but you know, we hired different cameramen, and you know, in LA we had uh, two different cameramen. Out here we had like two or three, uh, and some of it's tough matching five different cameramen. The sound, and we had the, our sound guy is great. The guy we have, whatever his name is, you know, our Tim new little, the little people, Tim the little Allison. people. <laughs> no, uh, so I, we're really happy. I mean, you know, we saw the finished product, and then we say, you know what? We're gonna we we're, now we're taking it to another step. We thought it was done, but now we're going to you know just adding some more stuff. So uh, I you know it, it's gonna I can't wait. I can't, I can't wait. wait to see it too. I think uh, it's gonna be great. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, this is kind of like fizzling now. Uh, no, no. Here's the thing: it doesn't have to be a laugh a second. You don't. On, you're not on stage. No, I know that. And you're I was okay. when I was trying to you know spill my guts <laughs> and talk a little bit about my upbringing and where why it led to where I am now. Okay, that was beautiful, M Mrs. Mrs. Tap Dance over here. <laughs> I had the worst upbringing. I had to marry a Jew <laughs> in order to get even with my parents. And I, I think you did get even with them. <laughs> what you, I think they're staring at the ceiling right now. What could we have done differently? No, it's Harvest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <they're laughs> they are. Uh, when we got uh, married, tell them about where we got married at the uh, at the at the inn there, where your aunt. We, we, we we had a couple of wedding. We had our wedding in Canada, but a couple of parties. Uh, one in New York. It was a hunting. We lodge. Were, we didn't so know. So during our the wedding party, that people would be dragging deer across. No, literally. <laughs> <laughs> like, but her family came dressed like this guy in in blue jeans and me like me blue right. jeans and flannels they're to the good wedding. flannels they wore their good <laughs> wedding flannels they were, we were and they're farmers they're all they're all farmers and they would we'd get the wedding gifts and they'd give us towels i'm going what the <laughs> fuck i could steal these out of the hotel i'm staying at now but we had so much fun. We had it was a great wedding. Really, we had. Well, so you guys much had fun a camp. couple weddings, right? Didn't well, you the, the party we yeah. had the wedding and the party at Caroline's. Mm -hmm. You were invited. You weren't yeah. even there. But I couldn't make it. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> you were invited. <laughs> You're still supposed to send a gift. Oh, <laughs> this well, is it. This well, is it right here. Well, <laughs> thank you. Thank yeah, you. you're welcome. Our, <laughs> our our dumbness was to throw our wedding. We had a great one in L.A. and mm -hmm. one in New York. We didn't want people, comics to fly back and forth. So our you know we had our party at Caroline's, but people didn't take it seriously. Like it was a wedding party, even though we sent them out on real invitations. Uh, and you know, comics. We had were a wedding out. planner, right? In L.A., not New York. No, that guy from Caroline's did all the. No, he's not. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he playing the. Uh, he got the cupcakes. Uh, <laughs> so it's so funny. Uh, Patrice, Patrice is there, who who uh, I miss dearly. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was one of my 
uh, best friends in the world. Uh, <laughs> just just so much, so many great memories with him. And he was uh, at the party. He comes down there, and he goes, "Were well, you supposed to bring a gift?" I go, well, it's a wedding party. So he took money out and just threw it on the floor <laughs> <laughs> and walked away. <laughs> Makes the Canadians look like a bunch of shit heels, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, you know, we, everything's cool. You know, just uh, our life. You know, well, po- this 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 is the way it plays out on this podcast. And as you can tell, listening to him tonight, it's going to be just going on for years with tons of material. No, we need somebody to go to host it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <We can't>. yeah. <laughs> I'll be over. That, I'll be over every Tuesday just to get you back on track. We need a moderator. Yeah, we can't do this. Keep you from walking away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? You don't just walk off the, who, off the set. Who, who do you think you are? Brett Butler? What the fuck? You know? <laughs> that was seriously such an inside baseball joke that right now Brett Butler's going, Jesus Christ! I'm working my way back. <laughs> Somebody remembers me? <laughs> Where's my daughter? Where's Raina? Send, yeah, let Raina. You want to have her come in? She'll do it. She'll do a few minutes. It was, uh, <laughs> wait, hold on. We did tell her she couldn't come on stage anymore yeah. unless she actually did her act because she just, we said, this is work. The, okay. uh, this is interesting because in the green room, uh, Rich totally ignored her. <laughs> and no, but I, I, Barney was doing everything, and you're just like, yeah. whatever, yeah. Uh, here's the stuff I want to get to, and this is going to be good. <laughs> well, he, you know, when I go on stage, you know, he's supposed to watch her, and then when yeah. he goes on stage, I watch her. But he always, he, he just won't, you know, rein her in. He'll just talk. He'll just do whatever he does, and then she'll just always find her way onto the stage while well, I'm on know. stage. Yes. No, but she, Bonnie has it wrong. Bonnie will go long, and when I want her to wrap it up so I can get on, <laughs> I send Raina out. I go go up, and Raina will go on stage, and that's how Raina started her career. Uh, oh, so the last time he sent her up on stage, she wouldn't do her bits. And, right. And, yeah. uh, you know, I was getting a little irritated. Yeah, well, well, would you, are you thinking about adding her to the podcast? Is this going to kind of be like what Ricky Nelson did, where the whole family just keep, Ozzy Nelson brought out Ricky well, when he grew up big enough? We and, don't. We don't want it because we don't want her to turn into Chaz Bono. Uh, (laughs) Chaz Bono didn't want to turn into Chaz Bono. Uh, Hey, come here, Raina. Raina, come here. There she is. Come here. Oh, God, look. Getting an applause break. Okay, real quick. Get your own microphone. Now, Now, you have to tell the truth. Who's funnier, mommy or daddy? Daddy. Thank you. Okay. Who buys Obviously you toys? Obviously, he's been working with yeah, them more right. than I have. Who buys you toys whenever you want them? Mommy. <laughs> Whose money is it, though? Daddy. Yeah. All right. Now, you realize she's a child. This is an Otto and George. Okay. <laughs> Rich Foss, Bonnie McFarland. I'm married, everybody. Thank you. Thank so you. much fun. Yeah. Yeah.